So one of the cornerstones to having a great tailgate setup, in my opinion, is having a TV on site so that you can watch the pregame shows and other games prior to attending your own game. Now, the issue is that some of these tailgating lots, uh, it can be difficult to get a signal to the TV um, just due to distance to broadcast stations or there might be some obstructions in the way uh, blocking the signal. And so you'll get sometimes a frozen screen or maybe you just won't even pick up uh, the signal at all. So one way to overcome that is to use a uh, portable satellite system like a dish tailgater. And that's been great. I've used that in the past and uh, usually you can get signal uh, pretty consistently. Um, however, it is subject to uh, some of the same issues. Obstructions, you know, sometimes even the stadium is blocking uh, the view to the sky so it can't get the signal. Uh, trees and even sometimes bad cables have been an issue uh, and disrupting the signal. The other thing that I don't like about it is that if you accidentally move it, uh, it, you know, totally loses the signal and you got to start all over with the process of connecting to the satellite in the sky. So uh, one great alternative that I've recently come across is the Starlink Mini, which is a, a satellite system um, that's put on by SpaceX. And I think they have something like 7000 satellites that are deployed in, into space and that are surrounding the globe. So across the entire United States, you can get uh, high speed Internet access and it's really dependable. What I like to do is pair it with the YouTube TV app, and that gives me access to, you know, just about any game I want to watch. It also even offers the NFL, I think it's the NFL package that you can watch all the games, and that's an additional cost, but at least you have access to it. So in this video, what I want to do is uh, just do a review of my experience using the Starlink Mini in a real life tailgating scenario, and then I'll give you an idea of uh, costs and and how it's set up and everything like that. So with that, let's get started. When you get this Starlink antenna, the first thing that comes in is a box. Um, I went out and purchased this uh, carrying case, which is nice. And the cool thing is that everything is right in here. And this is all you need versus like a dish tailgater. You gotta have the dome and the receiver and the remote control and all that stuff. So I'll show you what it looks like. This cord is like 50 feet long, so it's plenty of cord. But you just plug that one right back in here. The same way. And it slides right in. And then that's it. So that's it, it's plugged in. Um, now the next thing to do, do is just go to the phone. They've got an app, you just download it. So once you get into the app, you can now see how it's connecting to the satellite. Network issues, our is misaligned. So just like that, it's on. Um, I just faced it to the north. Then you can go through here and check the alignment. Um, it's a little bit off. But it's still connected. So if you... So that's it. It just needed to be aligned to face exactly north. Actually, yeah, north is that way. So... <laughs> but yeah, that's it. It's all set up now. Um, Go back in here, turn on the TV, go to the features, network, wireless. Okay, it's connected. 
connected. I think the YouTube app is, is the best one, actually. I used to have Sling. But this one allows you to watch multiple games with the you know, split screen so you can watch like four games at a time or two games at a time or whatever you want. So, uh, call it game day. And we're good. This thing's been online now for a good hour. And there's been no delays or any type of buffering or anything like that. So I'm going to do a quick speed test. So right around 1, go, 80. Yeah, like 75, 80 megabytes per second. So that's plenty. I mean, you only need like... 15 or 20 or so to stream. Um, so, yeah, so far so good. It's not really crowded in here. Uh, there's maybe 20 RVs. But I see a lot of people have like uh, the dish satellites. But at 75, 80, I mean, that's plenty to do what I'm doing to stream some games. So, so far so good. The Starlink Mini only consumes about 25 to 35 watts, so it can be powered with, you know, something like a generator, a portable power station, or even a small inverter of 100 watts or more that you can plug right into your cigarette lighter of your of your vehicle. So there are two plans that you can purchase: either the unlimited plan for $165 per month, um, or there's a 50 gig plan for $50 a month. And the best part is that this is a month to month service. So you can pause at any given time. And during the months that you're not using it, you won't be charged. So according to the website, they estimate that 50 gigs will get you roughly 20 plus hours. And that's in line with what I was seeing. I got about two gigs per hour. And that was with just one device, my smart TV connected to the Starlink. And if you happen to choose the 50 gig plan and do get close to going over, you can just opt in right there on the app. So if you're ready to make your purchase uh, and you like what you see, you can actually go a couple of different ways. You can go to the website and make your purchase there. Um, I think it's $5.99 plus shipping, depending on where you're located in the United States. Or you can also go to some of the resellers like Best Buy or Home Depot. Now, if you go on the website and purchase it, uh, Starlink will give you a 30 day trial period. So if for whatever reason, after you make your purchase, you don't like it, you can return everything and get a full refund. Um, now, another cool thing is that if you do make your purchase on the website, uh, they'll give you and me a free month if you use my referral link in the description. And so if you do use it, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. The only catch is you have to go to the actual Starlink website and make the purchase for the equipment and the service in order to get the credit. And you also have to uh, wait till the 30 day trial has expired in order to get the credit. So hopefully you got some value out of this video and it was helpful. If you have any questions on my experience using the product or if you just have some questions in general, please leave those in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back to you. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.